What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video and we have another one in the books. Alex's Arcade 1UP modded 4 player mod. I would say this one took about maybe let's say, I don't know, 10 hours in total. Uh, got it on Saturday, today's Tuesday. Officially done with it, just one minor detail I have to do left and that is to put the inserts on my coin and my star button. But a lot of you guys have been asking me how we do a four player mod. Basically again, we got two joysticks, Zinmo, Raspberry Pi 3, B plus running on this and two SNES style joysticks to make it four players. So if you guys wanna see the back of the cabinet, I'll show you real quick, very simple. Again, if you follow my, if you follow my step by step guide, you got your converter, you got your Pi, you got your Z313 Logitech, nice power strip. Got our LEDs run up over here. Again, typical mod. Again, if you take a look here, my USBs, we got the Zinmo as, as slot zero, and then three and four for the SNES controllers. Controller right here, we even have the LED IR right here, so in case you want to just simply pick a color or let it set to fade, that's all set. Again, same thing, we got our buttons with the LED strip, so our button power uh, LED buttons are within the strip. I have them programmed to the red fade in, fade out. Admins, we have our Super Nintendo joystick. We have our Super Nintendo controllers right here routed underneath, along with the Z313. So now you guys wanna see what the four player looks like. We're gonna load up real quick. I'm gonna go into the arcade, we're gonna load up MAM. And we're gonna load up Sunset Riders. That's a four player game. Again, stereo mod on this. I'm gonna show you guys also the plexiglass that I messed up. I might be able to salvage it in a way, but I'll let you know how. Um, stereo mod, full volume, coin, coin. All four players. Player three, player four, player one and two. Just like that. You guys wanna load up, let's see another one. Let's do, um, you know me, I love the Simpsons. Again, my man wheel is set up for four players. So the man wheel, it will play only the ROMs that play four players instead of the two players. So for example, your Simpsons game, there's a ROM for two players. so you will be able to pick your characters, whereas right now it's set to four player. So player one is always Marge, player two is always Homer, player three. You, you gotta love The Simpsons, I mean, it's pure classic. Again, player three. I'm Bart. We got our tag thing going on. <laughs> also, the other real one that's really for four players is our N64. Mario Kart, four player Mario Kart on this. Uh, again, the N64 four player. Again, you do still see, I leave always a wrapping. Once I'm done testing it and we give it to a customer, I always try to give it back in pristine condition. We try to always clean it up, make it look nice. This right now is gonna load up. Stereo mod. Again, these are always, these are always players one and two. The joysticks will always be players one and two all the time. I'm gonna load up our four player game. And as you can see right here, when you do character select, player one, player two is the joystick player three on the SNES, and player four. I press the back button. Four player action, I'll be honest again, the Pi is not powerful enough. There's no RAM, there's no VRAM on a Pi. So I'll be brutally honest, I'm gonna let this on full blast. And you will hear the sound stutter.
One other thing about the N64, for some reason, I have to press all four of these buttons. I don't really know why. I might have to go into the configuration files, but at least you can exit. Again, keep in mind though, the N64 really had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons on the controller of an N64, whereas your arcade, even your SNES controllers only have six buttons. So it won't play all the games on this. You're really supposed to get an N64 USB controller. So some of the Mario Party games won't work because you do need the other like thumb stick. So just keep that in mind. A lot of people keep asking me about that. Yes, it will play like your common games for four players, but the biggest thing is the arcade ones for four players. This way the whole family gets in on it. Again, this right here is set to 15,000 games. This is done, it's ready for pickup. Alex, pick this thing up, man. We're set. Again, this is the same exact mod that you saw with my step-by-step -step guide. Stereo mod, LED strip, LED buttons. Let me show you real quick the mistake I did with the Plexi. I'm gonna pick you up. So I posted a video yesterday about how not to drill. Um, basically, again, this is my plexiglass. I'm gonna try to find a better background so you could see it. Um, but basically, I, I messed it up. Uh, I was trying to, I was trying to sand down um, the edges here that I made here, as you can see. I was trying to sand it down and then it literally just, it just chunked right off. Um, again, this right now is the reason why we don't have it on um, so the idea I had for salvaging this, I was going to take my, 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 uh, skill scroll, the, the scroll saw, and I was going to cut this right here. This way, at least the palm protector is there. Um, again, speaker holes, original speaker holes. I really wish I didn't crack it, but I cracked it. Again, pretty flimsy. I don't even think it's an eighth of an inch thick, but... I don't know. Again, I was just playing some Pitfall. Pure classic. Oh, I just died. <laughs> again, we're just gonna enjoy our arcade right now. So again, we're loaded up uh, Game Boy Advance on this. Remember, I have mine set to, well really it's a four by three screen with an arcade one up. So it does look pretty good. A little bit, a little pixelated. Again, always using players one and two. The Dreamcast, um, for some reason, it, it only works with the SNES controls if you have it connected. If you do have the Super Nintendo or any joystick other than the Zinmo, it will go for that joystick first. <laughs> Exit out of that. I'm gonna show you real quick. So, real quick, let's load up Game Boy, first Game Boy. I always like to load up Super Mario. Super Mario uh, is life. So, again, there you go. Full screen, four by three, RK one up. It's stretched. It's not that bad looking. Oh, I remember playing this with the Game Boy. It's, this is old school. Gotta love it. Again, save and load feature, so I could save here. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna die on purpose. But, I'm gonna reload back. Never happens. That's why I like the feature. But real quick, let me show you guys the Dreamcast, what I was talking about. So I go to consoles. Only popular game on the Dreamcast really is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Again, you're gonna see always all the time, um, you know, there is a setting you could do, but it would always bring up the settings, like as if you first booted up the Dreamcast. So it reads my Zinmo for this, see? But when it comes time to actually play this, for some reason, I can't figure out why, but it's always, it always goes to this first. Um, it, this is not within RetroArch, this is on its own um, setting. I believe it's using the mule. So right now, I can't do anything, but if I press start, see, it's reading off of this. It, 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 it. Also with this, the select button exits. It's fine, you never use the select button, so it's okay. 
The one thing that's always like funny, but you know, some people don't take the time for it. You have to test everything. I literally sit down, spend about two hours. I try to load up each system and at least a couple of games on each system just to make sure it works. But the biggest thing, and this again happened to, um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank on it. I forgot the guy's name, but this is what happened to his. Um, I always reboot pull the plug, reboot at least three or four times just to make sure the settings save. Um, again, uh, with one of the arcades that we did where the customer bought an SD card off of Etsy, um, I went to his house and I set it up and then all of a sudden the next day he calls and goes, Vic, it doesn't work. So I always just unplug at least 20 times. It's got to unplug, let it boot up, unplug it. And you always want to make sure that it stays. You need to make sure that your settings save because some people, they make these things and they unplug them, they sell them and the next you know it doesn't work. So Again, just from this alone. So again, I mean, the biggest thing is that, you know, you have to test these things. I sit down, I test these things. The one thing I noticed, for example, every build is different. For example, on this specific one, when I sell this to Alice, I'm gonna tell him, listen. So for example, on the N64 emulator, I don't know why, but you have to press all four admin buttons to exit the emulator. Why? I don't know. The Sega Dreamcast, unfortunately, if you do have the Super Nintendo plugged into it, the controllers, it won't read the Zinmo as that whereas i know for a fact it will if you don't have it again as far as testing this right here again is a four player mod i always make sure all my buttons work and my little secrets i always do street fighter to make sure that all six rk buttons work that's the best way to test it street fighter is the best game two players always test your buttons <coughs> Left, up. So now that we know that the two player works, the last one I always do, I always do it on the arcade. Um, we load up either The Simpsons or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just to test the four player part of it now, especially with the arcade, I always load up either the, the TMNT uh, Simpsons or Sunset Riders because I know though there's more four player games, but those are the main ones and basically you want to make sure Player one Player two That's it. This is set Alex. This is done, buddy. That's it